Good day everyone. Myself Tripti Mishra. Today I am going to discuss NCERT class 10th science chapter 1. Chemical reactions and equations part 1. This is introductory part. First of all, we will recall an important topic from previous class, physical and chemical changes. Physical changes, the changes which occur without a change in composition and no change in chemical nature of the substance are called physical change. These changes are generally reversible changes. The examples of physical changes in our daily life are melting of ice, cutting of trees, dissolving common salt in water, etc. Now, chemical changes. The changes in which nature and the identity of the initial substance have changed are called chemical changes. Whenever a chemical change occurs, a chemical reaction has taken place. These changes are generally irreversible. The examples of chemical changes in our daily life are changing of milk to curd, rusting of iron, grapes get fermented and changes to alcohol or wine, food is cooked, digestion of food in our body, respiration, etc. You may perhaps be wondering as to what is actually meant by a chemical reaction. How do we come to know that a chemical reaction has taken place. Some observations helps us to determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not. These observations are change in state, change in color, evolution of a gas, change in temperature. Let us perform some activities to understand these observations better. In the activity 1 is burning of magnesium ribbon in air. This activity needs the teacher's assistance. It would be better if students wear eye protection. First of all, clean a magnesium ribbon about 2 cm long by rubbing it with sandpaper. Now, hold it with a pair of tongs and burn it using a sprit lamp or burner and collect the ash so formed in a watch glass as shown in the figure. We should burn the magnesium ribbon keeping it as far as possible from our eyes. We will observe that magnesium ribbon burns with a dazzling white flame and changes into a white powder. This white powder is magnesium oxide. It is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in the air. So this observation helps us to determine that here a chemical reaction has taken place. The second activity is reaction between lead nitrate and potassium iodide. First we will take lead nitrate solution in a test tube. Now add potassium iodide solution to this test tube. We will observe a yellow precipitate in test tube due to the formation of lead iodide. Here this observation of yellow precipitate helps us to determine that here a chemical reaction has taken place. 
in activity third we will see the action of dilute sulfuric acid on zinc first of all take a few zinc granules in a conical flask or a test tube then add dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid to this conical flask or test tube we should handle the acid with care we will observe evolution of a gas from the glass tube and as we touch the conical flask or test tube the temperature of the conical flask is increased so this observation of evolution of a gas and change in the temperature of reaction mixture helps us to determine that here a chemical reaction has taken place now here i am giving you some exercise questions the first question is write your observations for burning of magnesium ribbon in air second question is why should a magnesium ribbon be cleaned before burning in air you can give your answers in comment box and can discuss later please give your suggestions in the comment box like the video share the video and subscribe my youtube channel thanks everyone